Hello YouTube, <laughs> Cross the Batch here. I am back, uh, and we are now going to be doing the dark side of Sonic Adventure 2. Um, and yeah, so pretty much in the dark side, we start off with a, uh, a uh, mission, it's like a Tails mission, but in this, uh, since we're obviously on the dark side, we play as Dr. Eggman. And you're in a mech, just like uh, t Tails is. But, uh, yeah. So, we're gonna play as Dr. Eggman. Dr. 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 Eggman. Anyway, pretty much, we're breaking into a military facility uh, that has stuff that Dr. Eggman's grandfather was working on, and that's what he's looking for. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. Um, I think there's like 15 missions in the dark side, so it's a little bit shorter, but it might actually take me the same time because one of them might, one of the levels might be longer or something. So I don't know. It, it'll probably take me about the same time to uh, beat the dark side as it took me to beat the hero side. You know, like around the same pro time probably. There we go. Um, but yeah. It'll probably take me about the same time. There was a thing that kind of slowed me down on the hero, when I was playing the hero side, but... Yeah. Okay. Um... Something I was talking about when I was playing the hero side. Uh, when I get a PS... If I get a PS4, I will definitely do a playthrough of, uh... Of a few games that are on the PS4 if I get them like uh I'm was thinking about doing a let's play of um like uh I don't know doing a playthrough of The Last of Us doing a playthrough of maybe uh Infamous Second Son um that game looks cool uh maybe doing a playthrough of uh uh doing a playthrough of uh Killzone Shadowfall like, you know, just some of the exclusives that are available on the PS4. I'm thinking about maybe getting the Xbox One for it. Like, okay, so I want both the consoles. Um, I might get a PS4 first, I might get an Xbox One first. I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking about getting the Xbox One first, just for simple fact that I do want to get both of them, and I'm actually kind of planning on getting both the consoles. And hear, hear me out. The Xbox One is more expensive, obviously, so it would make more sense to kind of buy the Xbox One first, just to get the you know get the more expensive one out of the way, and then. But although, and also, I think I want the Xbox One at least get, getting it this year because um, I want to get it before I really want to get it before Halo uh, Halo Five comes out, and maybe if I can't get it like before it comes out or if it, maybe I'll get it like on the launch maybe like on launch day for the game I'll buy an Xbox one with the game and if I if I don't get it like right then I, w I would want it for at least that Christmas because my guess is that the Halo game that's coming out this year it's probably releasing like in November um, like the past uh, like I'm pretty sure most uh, pretty much every Halo game released in November except I know Reach didn't and I don't know about like ODST and uh, I don't know about ODST and, uh, Wars, but for, like, the main games, I know, like, Halo 1, I'm pretty sure, released in November, Halo 2 released in November, I think Halo 3 released in November, uh, Halo 4 released in November, so, uh, don't I have to... Oh, okay, I, I have to go to it first, and then go back up and hit the button, which is kind of annoying. There we go. There we go. Um, but yeah, I want an Xbox One because I think I really want Halo, uh, Halo 5, and uh, that's really just worth an Xbox One for me. Uh, that's really gonna make, it's probably the only thing I'm really gonna play on my Xbox One. Like, I think the thing, okay, so I think this is really what I'm gonna do. Um, so, I think what I'm mostly going to do is this, okay? I only use the, I'll get an Xbox One and a PS4, and the only thing I'll really play on either of them 
is the exclusive for those specific consoles. So I'll, on the Xbox One, I'll get the Xbox One exclusives. On the PS4, I'll get the PS4 exclusives. I won't get any of those cross... All the cross-platform games, like Assassin's Creed and that kind of things, I'll get on PC. The only game that's cross-platform that I'll get on the next-gen console is probably Call of Duty on the Xbox One. Just if I get the next Call of Duty, I'll get on the Xbox One probably. Just because... Um, the DLC comes first, and not even that. Like if I'm not even, if I don't really even get in that big into it, it's just I don't know. It, the game, the um, Call of Duty games are kind of more made for Xbox, or just console in general. Like even for PlayStation, uh, they're just not really that great on PC. Well, okay, so Call of Duty Ghost was freaking horrible on PC. So I don't really trust the next game in the series, even though it is made by Sledgehammer. I, I don't know. It's just I feel. That Call of Duty Ghost won't be that great. Is that you? Are you no, that's not Sonic. That is Shadow. Wait, that's Sonic. This is impossible. No, but. Um. Yeah, I'll probably play more more platform cross platform games on PC. Um. And then if I Destiny, I'll probably play on the PS4 because I think there's gonna be exclusive DLC or like early DLC or something like that. Like there's or there's some sort of like it's, it sounds like it's being more like kind of better on the PS4. Like that's what it kind of sounds like. Uh, so if okay, here's another thing. For the most part, besides probably besi probably besides Call of Duty, for the most part, if there's like. Cr console games that don't release on PC, even though Call of Duty doesn't release on PC, well, it's not really good on PC, so I don't count it. Um, so, like, cross-platform uh, games where all, that are only across consoles and aren't on PC, because there's, I'm sure there's going to be quite a few that don't even release on PC. Um, I'll probably play on the PS4, because it just seems that the PS4 is a little bit of a more powerful console. <clears throat> and... Although there is kind of an exception, exception, where I might get some on the Xbox One, just depending on like if they're a big multiplayer game. What? Why can't I hit him? I should I should have hit him there. <clears throat> but yeah, um, it depends. If it's like if more of my friends get it on the Xbox One, if it's like a co if it's like a multiplayer co-op type game, then I'll probably get it on the Xbox One. You know, like because I gotta remember I don't want to always get the, th the game on the thing that uh, lo looks better and more of the game on the thing where people are, more of my friends will actually play it. But um, the thing is, is that right now if I want to get Destiny, I'm going to have to get Destiny, which if you guys don't know what Destiny is, it's Bungie's new game, it's, it looks amazing. Um, but I'll have to get Destiny because Destiny is releasing on the 360 and PS3 as well as the Xbox One and PS4. The thing is, is that I really don't want to get it on the 360 uh, because I'm sure the experience will be kind of crap uh, and like it just won't. And maybe if I if I had an Xbox Slim, it might be better. But guys, I have an Xbox Arcade, and I'm lagging on games like Halo 4 and GTA 5. I'm sure that Destiny is pretty massive, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure it at least takes, it, it at least plays like GTA 5 does um, on the 360. Like, I don't think it'll be able to play at 60 FPS and stuff like that. Like, I'm sure it's at least the size of GTA 5. If not, I, I mean, I think it's bigger. I don't even know if it's an open world or not. It appears to be, but, um... So it's probably bigger than GTA 5, and it has more stuff going on than GTA 5. And you know, GTA 5 is really laggy. I mean, even Halo 4. Like, I'm not talking about like my internet's laggy or whatever. I mean, even Halo 4. Uh, I'm talking about just frame rate, pure frame rate. And maybe yes, I know that sometimes when you have internet lag that you can get frame rate. But I have really good internet, and plus, I'm not even talking about playing multiplayer. I'm talking about like, well, I did get frame rate in multi frame rate in multiplayer too, but also just playing single player. Like my frame rate is really bad on my Xbox, and I don't know why. So, because I have uh, Xbox Arcade, so I mean, maybe if I had a slim, I would be like, okay, maybe maybe it won't be too bad. Because the main thing I'm worried about is FPS. 
Okay, so most people say, you know, graphics don't really matter, which I kind of agree. There's some points where you some some criticisms of graphics are okay, like when some like there's some some criticisms of graphics that can be okay, but um, but then a lot of times it's like okay, so here's the thing: modern games, you want the graphics to be. If you're make, trying to make a 3D game that doesn't have like a weird art style, like indie games kind of, um, a lot of times, if they have lower graphics, most of the times indie games have weird art style to make, still make it look good. Um, but if you're trying to make a more 3D a 3D game that has kind of the art style of Call of Duty to where it doesn't really have a different art style, it's just kind of, well, you know what I mean? Like, where it's not trying to be cartoony or anything like that, you know, it's just kind of, kind of, it, I, I don't really know what you can consider Call of Duty's art style. But if you're trying to make like that type of art style, it's or like ba Battlefield or something where it's just trying to look really, really, it's trying kind of look realistic. Call of Duty is not really that realistic looking, but if you're that type of graphics and you make it look like really bad, then it's kind of like it's hard to look at sometimes. But uh, I mean. I don't know. Graphics don't matter too bad to me because I, what what really matters to me is uh, frame rate. So I don't know if this is a sentence that anyone has ever said ever, but I okay. So a lot of games on the 360 play at 30 FPS, and but it's like a smooth 30 FPS, so like it doesn't actually. Uh, look bad you know like when it is doing all that so you gotta you gotta kill these things and then it's gonna go in the water and I can teleport but first uh, outside a jail cell I don't know if uh, there's like a in the water but fun Uh, near the fence by the Oasis Trail. I don't. I, okay. So if you step on this thing and hit move, it will. Oh, hey. Oh. There it is. Cool. That was easy. Okay. Talk to the. Guns guard for the storage area. So I think that means it's gonna be. It's gonna be in a, uh, a high place. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like in a enemy. The guns machine over the containers has it. Okay. Wait, I'm just gonna look. Oh, hey, there's one in plain sight right there. This is not even the one I was going after, I don't think. But, uh. Yeah, that wasn't. Because that's something I was trying to explain in the hero campaign where if you're not. If it's the one you're not going after, it will. You can still pick it up, but it. And it will count towards this thing or whatever. But you can't actually, uh. It, it won't actually like beep and stuff unless you're, it's the one you're actually going after. So I think it's like up here, so, uh, no, up here somewhere. I think there's like some stuff, some crates and stuff up here. I think there's some enemies like up top here. I think it's gonna. I just gotta kill one of them. I think it's probably gonna be in this guy. Yeah, there we go. That one I did pretty easy, but pretty fast. Two minutes, that's not too bad for this. I bet I, bet I could have done that way faster, but... Eh, let's just see, not that... Yeah. So what was I even talking about before? I don't think I even finished what I was saying, but I don't even remember what I was saying. God dang it. God dang it. We're already on level three, and I think this is another... You know, uh, Dr. Eggman. Okay. So, 
This level is okay. I, I never really like this level, but it's I don't really. It's like kind of a meh level. Like I think the mech levels are like okay. I never really liked the mech. The only levels I ever really liked in this game was the uh, Sonic levels. Like the mech levels are fun. I think they're they they they're they're okay. Um, I really only think the Sonic and Shadow levels though. Like the thing is, is that I'm if I remember correctly in the in the Dark campaign, there really isn't a whole lot of levels where you actually play as Shadow. There wasn't really actually, to be honest, there wasn't really a whole lot of ones where you play as Sonic either. So, uh, that's the thing I did. And that's one thing about this game is that there most of the gameplay you don't even play as Sonic or Shadow, which is kind of weird because the game's kind of based. I mean, for at least on the Sonic side, the game's kind of based around Sonic. You know, that's it's you know it's, it has you know it's his game, but you know, but whatever you know, stuff happens. Yeah, I like the Sonic levels way better. They're they're just they're just more fun. You know, they're fast-paced uh, 3D platforming, and I don't know. Anyway, okay, we have to wait for it to go around here. No, really. God dang it. Nope. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost jumped off there. That would have been bad. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna wait for this to... Oh, wait, can we make that? God damn it. <laughs> okay, I'm, not, I'm gonna stop trying this stuff. See, we don't have the little, like, jetpack thing yet for this, for the mech. We unlock that later. I don't know if we... I think we do. Here. Never noticed that those three arrows right there, above the the thing from that angle, it made a nuke symbol. I don't know if that was an intentional thing, but God damn it! But yeah, you notice if you look over there. Here, hold on, let's try to uh... see those. T dynamites over there, like for the where I had to explode on the. See those arrows? It kind of looks like a nuke symbol. Oh, what the crap! I'm trying to do these like cool jumps and I'm not making it. But yeah, over there, when when the arrows pop up, it makes it look like a nuke symbol, like a radiation hazard symbol. And it's see, like look at that. It's so so does look like one. It's just something that I happened to notice. But I'll, what? I hit A and it didn't jump. Jump, jump. God damn it. I'm gonna game over just from failing this jump. Jeez. As I said, the controls sometimes in this game just... Just... What? I didn't even... Here's the thing, okay? I didn't even move. What the hell? This game sometimes, guys. This game... I just landed and I left the controller alone. I didn't move, press any button. And I just walked off. I don't know why it does that. But that kind of sucked. There we go. I got those now, so I didn't have to read about them later. Lol, 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 lol. Even though I would have only been a few seconds later, but god damn it! Whoa! What the hell is? What the hell? God damn it! I'm so impatient. That's my problem. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Are you kidding me? I didn't walk off the edge. And it just... It... Oh my god. No, 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 no. God damn it. 
this game, I don't know, it's like, you keep on moving forward sometimes, like, an extra second after you stop moving your control stick. I don't know. Okay. Okay, uh... Come on. See, here's the thing. Sonic games, they're meant for you to go fast, okay? And we have to play as these guys who are really slow. And it makes you impatient when you're used to Sonic games where you're like really fast and you're like, man, I'm playing Sonic right now and I'm going slow. What is up? You know, it's like, no, we gotta go faster. We gotta go faster, faster, faster Sonic X. Okay, like, y you know, do you guys forget, do you guys forget about the going faster part? Like, come on. Speaking of old TV shows based off of Sonic, uh, they're making a new one. They're making a new game called Sonic Blast, Sonic Blast, whatever, and it's for the Wii, it's another game for the Wii U because right now, uh, Sonic Team is under like an exclusivity type of thing where they had to make a few games exclusive for Nintendo. Uh, they had what do you call it? So so let's say they had the um, uh, they had Sonic Lost World, and uh, now they have Sonic Blast, and I think they're gonna make another game after that, and then they don't have an exclusivity tr uh, contract anymore. And, um, Sonic Blast is another game, I, I, I don't really know, fucking shit, I don't really know what it's about, I think it's another kind of, like, Sonic Adventure type game, I don't know, I don't quite know a whole lot, there's, like, info on it you can search on the internet, I'm sure, like, there is, like, things telling you, saying what the game actually really is, but, um, yeah, so... I just know that Sonic kind of looked weird in it, and like, like the character model kind of look, looked weird, but, uh, it's for the Wii U, I don't know if it's going on the 3DS as well, um, but there's also going to be a TV show based off of it, and you gotta think about this, so, I mean, Sonic Lost World didn't really seem like it was that big of a game, uh, you know, like, that important of a game, but, it seems like Sonic Blast is like something much bigger, but the thing is, is that they're developing it for the Wii U. Okay, I'm not. As I said, I'm not sure about the 3DS. And here's the thing. It sounds like they're probably putting a lot of money into this game, saying that this this TV show here. As I said, it's not like a web series or anything. It's a TV show. Okay. Um, first of all, Sonic. In my opinion, of what I know, Sonic isn't as popular as he used to be. Of what I know, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe there's still a huge fan base, but of what I know, I don't think Sonic is as popular as he used to. Okay? I don't think it's, it's as popular as the game series anymore, okay? I have to be honest, I don't think it is. I, I, it, I mean, I, it, tell me if I'm wrong, but I, is it, it, I don't think it's really of that popular of a game series anymore. And... It sounds like they're putting money, a lot of money to this, because this, this, this TV show... It's like an it's probably like an animated, you know, 3D animation TV show type of thing. But it's going on Cartoon Network, okay? That's which is a pretty big, you know, obviously Cartoon Network exactly what it is. Uh, it's you know, it's a pretty big company and they're they're you know, I'm I'm sure they're playing paying quite a bit of money to like it what I'm saying is, since it's a game based on, I'm more, I'm more focused on the game here. I, I'm sure the a lot of those kiddies out there will go watch their every every week or whatever they're doing of uh, that their Sonic Blast just because they want to. God damn it! There is a checkpoint right there. They die. But I'm sure some kiddies will every week will watch the t their TVs and and and, and watch their Sonic Blast. Uh, but, uh, the thing about the game is that I'm just worried about Sonic Team and stuff. The fact that they're making this huge game that they're spending a lot of time and money on. 
for the Wii U, okay? Now, I heard the Wii U is a great console and all that, and it's fun to play on, and there's really some really cool games, and it looks like it looks like a fun time. Uh, you know, it's pretty much just an HD Wii. Um, but, which, you know, I had some fun times with Wii, even though the motion controls weren't the best for first-person shooters. Okay, here's the thing. Yes, the, the motion controls on the Wii weren't that great, but... I thought they worked perfectly, because, here's the thing, the Kinect on the 360 didn't work because the technology just wasn't ready yet, and it didn't have a controller, which was the whole point of it, but it's just the technology wasn't ready yet. See, the Wii, Wii the Wii, there was some, because, I, guys, I don't have a Wii U, so I don't really know, but the Wii, like, the games that were there, so, some games, like, the little, like, mini games things they use for, like, for example, for, um, Mario Party, I, I play Mario Party 8 on the Wii, and I think those work perfectly where, like, where you just have to shake the controller or something like that. Like, I mean, I know the, um, or tilt the controller, like, pretty much the PS3 has that as well, and it's just, like, it's just in a different form than PS3 is, you know, more of a generic, uh, controller shape and stuff. It's just, like, because I know the, I think the PS4 probably has it too, but I know, the, uh, what I know is that the PS3 has an, a uh, controller has an ability to, for games, put in a feature where you have to, like, tilt your controller or shake your controller to do an action in the game. And that's kind of what the Wii did, and, and had the little, and I think, an um, engine just for some simple, uh, you know, menu navigating that allowed the point cursor, which, for most time, most of the time did work at, work pretty well. Just to kind of point at the screen and uh, press a button to uh, kind of select some buttons on the uh, on the screen which didn't work with the Kinect. I mean, I don't know, the um, Kinect Xbox One might work better, I think, um, not too like a couple days ago from when I was recording this, like, the uh, a new Kinect sports game came out uh, for the Xbox One and I'm gonna go look at reviews at that a little later just even though I don't have an Xbox One as I said but I just want to know if it like worked yeah you know like if the controls were good but for the most part it's, it's just because like the Wii kind of just worked in that sense but as I said the reason I'm kind of worried is because the Wii U okay is not a big seller we all know this. It's a very, very bad selling, selling console. And, I mean, maybe they hope by the time the game releases that there's bigger sales on the Wii U. But I don't see the Wii U getting any more popular than it is. Which, yeah, is kind of, you know. <sighs> okay, so... I don't know. It seems like they're wasting a lot of money in making a game for a console that no one has and no one wants. Besides me, I kind of want it, but I think the Xbox One and PS4 are a little more important. So, I don't know. Shadow's getting some flash flashbacks. Maria! 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 Shato. I beg of you, please do it for me. <laughs> oh my god. Maria is probably the most detailed human in the game. <laughs> Looks like the most detailed character model in the game, honestly. <laughs> but, okay. Revenge. And yay, is this the first sh a shadow level? I think it is. Just kind of sad. That the fact that we're, fourth, we're on the fourth level and we're having the first shadow level. Come on. The fourth level in the hero campaign was kind of cool because. Wait, was there even a Sonic level in this? So, obviously they reused kind of the assets uh, for Siege. But was there even a Sonic level, like, on this? Because uh, I know there's a Tails level, like, using this kind of, like, level design. Like, this kind of, like... I don't know, like, using these assets and stuff. But... Did, did Sonic have a level like this? I don't think it was. He did. Like, the highway, pretty much. 
I know, I mean, I know level 4 was kind of like on this place with the water and stuff, so. So I don't know. Anyway. Jump, 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 jump. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, do you guys have an next gen console? If so, do you have, which ones do you have, or do you have both of them? And no, I do not count the Wii U as a next gen console, by the way. Um, but yeah, in, in, in general though, I have to say PC Master Race, because I really do like PC the best. It's just like, I don't know. You got, the thing about PC is for, mo for the most part, you got your ultimate backwards compatibility because, look, the PC isn't a new console, it's, uh, okay. Your PC isn't a new console because obviously, you can play past generation games on your PC, you can play next generation games on your PC, you can play way, 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 you can play the la the generation before the last games on your PC. I mean, obviously, some like GameCube game, like some GameCube PS2 era games. There's quite a few that didn't go on PC, but you can. But for the GameCube stuff, I mean, that's kind of worth getting the, the actual. I mean, there's a few like this one. That, yeah, they did end up putting on PC. I mean, but but really, you don't have to worry about your console not having backwards compatibility. Um, but then you can also, you know, play, play new games at, at the same time as well, all on the same system, you know, it's like, that's why PCs are kind of cool, and also there's modding, and, uh, okay, I missed that, that was kind of a fail, um, but yeah, there's modding, and, you know, like, I think modding is the coolest thing for games like Skyrim and Minecraft and, and Fallout New Vegas, you know, like, the modding community, there's a lot of, there's a big modding community in those games, and, I mean, even in Sonic Generations, there's a small little modding community in Sonic Generations, and, I mean, I've seen some cool mods for Sonic Generations, they add, like, custom, uh, pretty much they, uh, remove all the normal levels in the, in the normal game, and then, uh, and then, uh, yeah, oh, god. And then it just, it's like a custom campaign. I've seen like, some really cool stuff. But um... Uh, I think I have to... There we go. But yeah. Um, and then like Call of Duty World at War is probably one of my favorite games to play on PC versus console because um, like Call of Duty World at War was a pretty good port. Uh, it crashes sometimes, but it, like it has some problems when you try minimizing the game and stuff. But uh, I mean, the thing about Call of Duty World at War is that there's a pretty big modding community in that, and they make a really cool custom zombies maps and stuff and. It's it's really cool, and it's not just retextures of like the other maps. Like there might be some out there, but there's a lot of like you know new content taking, they're you know, putting new weapons in the game, putting new perks, you know, putting new features, Easter eggs, you know, new maps, com like complete new maps. Some of the maps are way better than even what Treyarch makes, which is really cool. And I wonder if there's any mods for Sonic Adventure 2, and I wonder if maybe there's some graphics mods for this game. I know there's graphics mods for Sonic Generations, but I wonder if there's like some mods I can get for Sonic Adventure 2 here, and just like kind of make the graphics look like more modern. As I said, I know I don't really care about graphics, it's just the fact that this is an older game, and I can maybe make it a little better. A little better. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, 
I'm a shadow and I'm all about us using the chaos control. And the ultimate life form. Farewell. Okay. Ah, uh, dang it. It's one of these missions. I hate these missions. I hate to say it. Guess I'm going to have to find that key first. Okay. Oh god dang it. I forgot about that. So, to make the game even harder than the freaking uh, hero version was, uh, they added a pretty much... They added a... They added the devil. No, no, but I, I'm just kidding. Like, there's this machine that goes around that will completely destroy you. It's that thing over there. You can't kill it. At least I don't think you can. And it's really annoying. But one thing that I do like about this version of the level is that if you remember when we were playing as Knuckles, there was all those, um... Oh, hello. Yeah, but this thing teleports. Like, I don't even know how it got here already. But, okay. Uh. Don't care. Hold on. But, yeah. I don't know what that button did, but. Seems important. Uh Nope, oh, nope, nope, there's the evil there's the there's the devil right there right now. Oh, there's a there we go. Oh hey. This is the thing that allows me to Oh. What wait. can't break into that. The hell? Oh, well, it's in here. Okay, I was gonna say, I can't break into this one over here. Right, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a computer back here. I'll, uh, go consult this computer. Uh, the condor spreads its wings. Let's go look at something that is that the snake is looking at. Uh, let's go this way. Oh god. Now, I don't know if this is a thing that we can dig into, like in the other one. Like, if you remember, there's the... Uh, okay. Maybe not. Because if you remember in the, uh... What do you call it? The hero side... If we dug into a thi one, one thing on the wall, it would teleport us a treasure chest on the ceiling in the egg chamber. In the egg chamber? Which one? Here's one of those secret things. Okay, it's in here, in this room somewhere. Oh, it's in here, it's in here. There we go. Okay, I'm not t having too bad of a time in this, in, on this level. Okay, co Condor's Egg. It's probably in the red room. A room with four flames. Dig under the wall decoration egg scorpion? Wait. Dig under the what? It's gotta be close. 
it's in here. God damn it. Where is that thing? Oh, it's in here. Wait. No. Don't kill me. God damn it. It's in. Okay. It's like I, in here somewhere. There we go. Got it. Did it in four minutes. That's not too bad. Let's see. Okay. 22. More cutscenes. It's a space transporter. The destination has been set to Ark. Wasn't that space colony shut down over 50 years ago? What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. And yeah, so we have nine more missions left still. So this is the space colony arc. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. Yep. There's a uh, quite a few of uh, the Eggman missions in this one, but yeah, this one one pretty much the difference between like in, in the dark one here is that. The room kind of has a fog thing, and it's like, and when you kill enemies, like, it gets brighter. It's it's weird. There we go. Let's go. No. I don't understand why I don't they make both of them lift up. That was kind of stupid. But okay. And I think I unlock a. I can find a like a. I think I find the um. What do you call it? Where it? Oh, I think I have to jump up here. Yeah, there it is. I think these are the thrust. Yeah, the um. That. We're gonna do that. Yep, so we just unlocked the epic jetpack of Destiny. Just gonna fly over this. Thank you. so many enemies okay and so these are my epic strats here just to spin around and hold X I can just lock on to all of them here. Like a boss. Like a boss. Like a boss. And uh, look up there. If you look right there, you can see one of the characters from Sonic Adventure 1 in the background. If you don't... If you didn't see what I was talking about, just uh, skip back the video. Like probably 10 seconds um but he's everywhere uh, there's probably a couple things there's probably a few times in the uh hero campaign that i didn't point him out but 
Trump. I noticed several locations where he's located in uh in this game, and he's just like always like kind of in in like side of something like that. That like is he's in a corner or like inside of un play un ungettable area. But yeah, he's just a little uh, character. Ah, uh, god dang it. Okay, so I think I have to go back here and yeah. What the hell? Okay, that's weird. There we go. Oh, hey, there's a mission goal. So, um... Yeah. That wasn't so difficult. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad on these. Um... I don't think I've ever gotten an A in, in this playthrough yet, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm not really too amazing at this. I've been waiting for you, Doctor. Now I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the op contained a top secret research facility where weapons of mass destruction were being created. Oh this shit. Is one of them, a weapon capable of destroying an entire planet. Oh crap. Named the Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet. Yep. Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. And you need all the Chaos Emeralds. Large amounts of energy are necessary. We need all the Chaos Emeralds and to oh, activate it. So that's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> I like the way you think, Shadow. I will get the chaos and use the machine to dominate the world and build a legacy of my own. Do you really think own. it will be that easy? No, not with your levels in this game, Rouge. Not with your levels in this game. I've got a great idea. How about making a deal? A deal? When you grab that huge emerald, you said something about a reaction. A reaction that it may have with the Master Emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you think? If I do. What's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. It may not look like it, but do you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels? There is a Chaos Emerald. Very well. Okay then, it's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. Having to come back isn't my idea for vacation. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the game be here? Uh absolutely sure. I think I have to fight Shadow or Sonic now. Very well. Very well. There might be a I think there might be an Eggman mission right here, and then I have to fight Sonic and Shadow, and then I gotta do and there's a shadow mission and then As you remember, the island blew up on the hero side when we were talking to Shadow and stuff, and uh, pretty much this is the other side of that, and that was happening. These are their plans. Okay, so yeah, as I, as I said...
Oh, there's two of them that I didn't get. Oops. Oh, I think I need to go in one of these and get one of the, uh, there it is. Large cannon. So I can break these boxes. Now I'm pretty sure this mission, obviously is laid out differently, but I think this was a Sanic mission. I think there, w there was also a Tails mission that was like on this type of level. I think. So... But the shadow mission, that the next shadow mission, it's funny because obviously my render distance, like my view distance, was longer than what it was on like the older consoles. So you can see that once I was getting closer, like the, so those buildings just, god damn it, just started like randomly rendering in <laughs> weirdly. And I don't think they, I would have even seen that far back on like the. Uh... I think the reason some of these are just now rendering in, like, is because it's like. It would have never suspect me to see that far. I get, the game wasn't originally planned for me to be able to see that far because of, you know, hardware limitations, but... What the hell? What was that? Okay then. I guess I have to break like all the boxes or I won't be able to get through it. It blocks me. It's kind of stupid. Can't even hit that one. There we go. Oh, yeah, I tried hitting that. Okay. Yeah. What? Okay, that kind of glitched out. Okay, well. <laughs> it's okay. We're kind of at the beginning of the mission anyway. Okay, <clears throat> let's do this for real this time. We got all of them right there. Uh, I, I took two. I'm not screw this. Not even gonna. Do we still have to grab this? No, we don't. Okay. What the hell? Okay. Ah. We. Do that okay but yeah I want to make sure I destroy most of these boxes because like I'm getting killed because because like I it wouldn't let me through even though there's a clear like way through really the freaking the the robot blocked me there Let's try this again. This is way easier than, I, than I'm making it. It's just like... Okay, is this gonna... Uh, that's so stupid! Oh my god. I don't know why it does that. Can you guys ask, tell me why it does that? It's so stupid. Okay. And that's, this time I killed the enemy because that guy kept on killing me. Wait, did I just shoot the chow out of the air? I 
You guys just shot the chow out of the air. Okay. That was kind of a pro snipe, to be honest. Maybe I should make a montage of all my pro snipes in this game, no? No, but... Like maybe I should make a, make a t montage of all the clutches I made, because I remember I made like one of the best clutches ever in the hero side, if you guys didn't watch that. Like, I made one of the best clutches ever. Okay. Where I was playing, it was a, it was like one of the last Sonic missions, and um, like uh, pretty much I uh, fell. I fell off of um. No, don't grab that Chow key. I almost grabbed that Chow key. And that would have been bad, because then I would have had to go into the child world, and I would have... No! No, come on. I would have had to go... Really? Yeah, but I would have had to go into the child world after the mission, and that would have just... I don't know, been annoying. Anyway. Um... Wait. For a second I thought we went back. Oh hey, my friend's playing Goat Simulator. I really want Goat Simulator, but I'm saving up my money up for oh okay, here's the ending. I'm saving up my money for um a better graphics card and next gen consoles and stuff like that. So even though yes, Goat Simulator is only ten dollars or whatever, I still I'm still saving up for other stuff, so um, I think my computer would be able to handle Goat Simulator, it's nothing like that, it's just, I don't know, I'm saving it for a better graphics card. Everyone always mistakes Shadow for Sonic, but Shadow is obviously a different color than Sonic. Sonic. Especially in this game, like, Sonic is a very, very... Very noticeable blue. Okay. Uh, can't see my screen right now because I accidentally moved my computer, but I don't think that stopped me recording. <laughs> the cord got loose and it unplugged my thing real quick, but I don't think it actually stopped me recording, so we're all good. Because it says, it perhaps still says it's recording, so I think it's all good. <laughs> Anyway, these fights are always easy. We know this. Oh, look at her health. There we go. Those fights are always really easy. Well, oh, 23 seconds. <laughs> That was probably like a long time for that. Okay. Um, yeah, 23 seconds was probably long for that fight. Okay. Okay, this one I have to do in five minutes is insane sometimes. Okay. This one, okay, I know where this one is. I know all I needed was that first clue, and I automatically know where it is. Uh, it's just up here. Come on, I was trying to th fly. No. There we go. No, god damn it. There we go. It's in this box right here. There we go, it's next to it, whatever. 